Hello, friends. Today, let's solve longest string chain. Given a list of words, each word consists of English lowercase letters, and this is the definition for pre. C sensor, precise sensor. Okay, let's say word one is a precise sensor of word two, if and only if we can add exactly one letter anywhere in word one to make it equal to word two.、Uh, this is an example. We can add、uh, a here, so we we know a b c is a precise sensor of a b d, a b a c. Okay, so. Given a word list, we need to find the longest、uh, word chain, and、uh, in that case, word one is the predecessor of word two, and word two will be the predecessor of word three, so on so forth. And、uh, you should notice that the word、uh, words length actually is quite、uh, small, just sixteen.、Uh, okay, how to solve this question? Well, for any longest problem, you should、uh, try to think think about whether we can use a、uh, dynamic programming. Because、um, if we use a DP solution, we can avoid repeated calculation. This is a hint, actually.、Uh, and the、uh, longest increasing subsequence is a classic、uh, DP question. Use this idea. We will refer to it afterwards. So first, let's see how to solve this question. The brute force solution is that for every word in the given list, we try to get the longest chain starting with it. What does that mean? Like、uh, we, like this example, we currently we are at A, and we try to iterate the following. All the words and try to get、uh, the longest chain starting with A, so we can get this、uh, chain. But we, when we meet B A, we we still need to calculate the longest、uh, string chain, right? Th then we get、uh, this chain. So in this case, we actually have many repeated、uh, calculations. So that's the downside of this solution. Uh, how to decide whether a、uh, word one is word two's predecessor? We should、uh, define our own function. We just call call it is pre, and we use two pointers technique to decide whether these two words, uh, a word one is a predecessor of word two, and we will uh use it、uh, in the second solution. Okay, this is a brute force solution. How to use dynamic programming in this problem? Let's see. Actually, this solution is derived from longest increasing subsequence. In LIS, we actually use a DP array to record the longest subsequence ended in index i. In this case, we 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 should use a map. And the key is a string, and the value is integer, and that means the longest chain ends with this string. Why it ends and not、uh, begins? Because when we add the current string, we should、uh, try to use its previous calculated result. So that's the reason we use the ends. Um. Okay. And as the Word length is quite small. We can actually group the words have the same length to the uh, uh together. So we will use a list string array. We call it word list. Uh, so the word list zero means the strings that has length zero. Word list three means the words that has length three. Okay, then th this is the main part. We try to iterate the length from one to sixteen, and、uh, this is a quick check. If the word list length is now, we just continue, right? If、uh, we have、uh, words, and we iterate all the words have the same length length, and we we know the pre length should、uh, be length minus one because.、Uh, 
this is a code uh, according to the definition of the PC sensor. Okay, it, this is uh, another quick check. If word list pre length is now just a break, because we cannot find any words. If it had words, for all the pre words in the word list pre length, we check whether the pre words is the predecessor of the current word. If it's, we can update the uh, length map put to the word. But you should notice that we cannot just uh, write uh, map get pre word plus one because uh, it can be possible that uh, its uh, original length is the uh, is longer or uh, is larger. So we should compare its uh, original value and the current uh, pre word plus one. So this is the DP idea um, lace lies. And we update the global max, that means the max length. So for the time complexity, this n is the number of the words, how many words in the given list. This is the for loop, this is another for loop. For both of these for loop, this m means the max number of the same length. Uh, like uh, how the maximum number have the equal the max number of words have the same length. Uh, this k means the max length of a word. Because this is predecessor, we actually need uh, to iterate uh, these two words to check whether the pre word is the predecessor. This is the linear time complexity uh, algorithm. So our solution is quite uh, fast. Okay, now let's write the code. We need a map uh, string uh, integer. We just uh, call it map. Hash map. We also need uh, a list uh, string. We just uh, call it a word list. We call it uh, list uh, and uh, 17. Okay. Then for every word in words, uh, we first get its length word dot length, and uh, if the word list length equal to none, we should uh, initialize it. So word list length equal to array list, and uh, we add uh, the current word to the word list, and the map put the word one because at least is one right okay then we need a global variable called max initialize it uh, to one and then we iterate the length from one and length less than 17 as increment by one okay so quick check if the word list length equal to now we just continue otherwise for every word in the word list uh, length, we get the pre length will be length minus one, right? Another quick check if word list uh, pre length equal to none, we just uh, continue. If there is, then iterate all the pre word in the word list uh, pre length. Check if uh, it's uh, pre pre-desensor, pre-word, and uh, the word. Then we update the map put the word and uh, get the max value will be map get uh, the word and uh, map get uh, pre-word plus one. Okay, and uh, update the global variable max to map get uh, get uh, the word so in the end uh, just uh, return the max now let's implement uh, this is preceding a predecessor word one okay word two we need uh, two pointers one is zero another is also starting from zero 
while the P1 less than W1 dot length and the P2 less than W2, uh, W2 dot length. Okay, if current two char is the same, P1 equal to W2 dot char at uh, P2, then we move these two pointers forward. Otherwise, we should check whether it's only one character is different. So we use a Boolean array, uh, sorry, Boolean variable called found. At first, it's false. So if we already found uh, a different uh, pair of characters, we return false. Otherwise, we mark this found uh, to true, and we should uh, we should uh, move the P2 forward because P2 is one character longer than, uh, sorry, W2 is one character longer than W1. So in the end, return true. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.